Hello, in today's video I'll be photographing Polpero. As you can see behind me, Polpero is a traditional fishing village and it looks really beautiful. It's in the south of Cornwall um, and it's pretty much untouched. You've got these really lovely fishermen's cottages all around it and you've got this harbour wall going all around and we've got the harbour right in the centre of the village. So I've come here to photograph this. Um, the sun is set behind that hill today so there isn't going to be any more light on, on the village at all today, but in the morning, the light comes straight down this valley here and the sun rises right in between the two rocks and it will come down and light up the entire village. So I'm going to come back tomorrow morning and um, get a photograph from at the top there. But for the moment, I'm going to go around and see if I can get a photograph at sunset. So Polpero is over there and I've just walked up the cliffs here and we've got a lighthouse behind me and I'm just watching the sun set which is over there and it looks really beautiful. There's no light on that cliff at all so it's, it's going to be pitch black but it does look lovely. So I've managed to get a, a photograph before the sun went down, just going behind that hill at the moment but it's lighting up those, that cliff over there. So I've just taken a photograph now and there's some raggedy cliffs down here um, and all rocks and things and they're all jutting out the cliff this side looks amazing there's all these lines of rocks going up it's not something you particularly want to fall on um, but it's really sharp and jaggedy so what i've done i set the camera up um, using a 24 mil lens and i've pointed right down here to try and capture all these glorious rocks and then right up to the top of the hill there and i've just cropped it and done um, a portrait shot and I've also done a landscape to see which works but the, it's very hazy over there at the moment so I don't know if that will work but when the sun was out it was just picking up all these little shards of rocks what I'm doing at the moment there's a I don't know if you can see just down there in front of the camera there's some rocks in the sea and they're just above the the water line so all the waves are crashing against them and coming over and I'm taking a long exposure of about one minute and to try and get those jaggedy rocks coming out of the water but smoothing the water over so it looks like mist. Um, and then I'm just going to watch the sun go down in the distance over there. So it's an absolutely glorious evening. I think sunrise is going to be better so what I'm going to do, if you can see that boat over there just behind it you can actually get up onto the headland there so i'm going to look towards polpero and the sun is going to come up right over there and shine through so i'm going to get that first thing in the morning but also from that cliff i'm going to look out that way and try and get um, a landscape photograph of all these rocks looking that way with the sun hitting this this hill this side as well You don't get to see clouds like that very often. Um, the sky is really lovely now. But unfortunately there's no, no real interest out there. So it just looks really good to me. So I'm just sitting here watching the, the clouds colour up and the, the pink just rise on the horizon. It's amazing. But maybe not a photograph. So occasionally it's just worth sitting and enjoying it. I am really loving the tones and texture in the water at the moment. With the waves crashing down on these rocks, it's, 
you get loads of bubbles coming up from the rocks underneath uh, when it's hitting the water and it's all just coming up and it looks there's like a turquoise color and i think that looks really pretty um and you've got these lichens all down here but unfortunately i can't really get a good vantage point to to make an interesting photograph so i've just been looking at that and just watching the bubble slowly come up which is quite interesting um it's starting to get quite dark now the the sunset about 10 minutes ago behind you so i've just taken a photograph of these these lovely pink clouds over there so i'll zoom right in um cropped out all the blue sky and i've got a little bit of the water in the bottom so we've got some blue water here and we've got a bit of turquoise water over the side so i've put a 10 stop neutral density filter over the top of the lens and that gives me a three minute exposure at f9 so i should hopefully smooth out all these waves on the water and then get a little bit of movement in these clouds and i think that should look like a, a painterly image so the light is fading and it's time to call it a day but i really do like this this little uh, lighthouse here so um, i've taken a quick photograph of it i tried to find some information on it but i haven't yet i think um, it was built around 1916 i think um, but i'm not entirely sure it is quite difficult to get a photograph of this um, because it's it's not positioned very well and there's a lot of um, heavy undergrowth around so you can't really get to the side and get in the photograph which I really wanted but uh, not to worry it's just nice to come and see it and see a bit of history so uh, I'm going to head back to Polperro now and the lights are starting to come on I might get one or two photographs in the harbour um, it's about half six now so it's, I might be going to get something to eat in a minute Good morning, I'm back now at Polpero, which you can see behind me. Um, I scouted this location last night, and what I wanted to do for sunrise is get this lovely vista here. We've got some beautiful jagged rocks down here, and they're all covered in lichens and moss and things like that. And I think they look really beautiful. I don't know what it is about this clean sea air but these all these lichens grow and they just for me they're just so perfect it really is beautiful as a foreground interest so I'm really focusing in on these these rocks down here and then we've got some that leads into the jagged rocks down there and then you've got the horizon and this hill in the background so at the moment we're getting some lovely swirls in the the water um, which is creating lots of bubbles so you get not nice patches of like turquoisey light blue color and um, so there's some really beautiful colors at the moment and it's a 30 second exposure because it's still really dark um, the sun is supposed to be rising over there where that big bank of cloud is so it doesn't look like we're going to get sunrise for a little bit longer but I did want it so as soon as the the sun comes up it hits these cliffs and we'll get some stunning colors but um, it really is clouding up over there so I don't know if we're going to get anything but we've still got about 20 minutes before sunrise and we're getting some patches of pink up there they're starting to disappear because we've got some blue clouds coming in but um, I'm going to take a few exposures now while we're waiting and then hopefully I should be able to pick up some of that pink and some lovely colors it really doesn't look like we're going to get a sunrise this morning which is a shame because the forecast said it's going to be completely clear this morning with no cloud but there's just a really big bank of cloud on the horizon i've been here about 40 minutes now and it's sunrise should have been about 20 minutes ago so it looks like it's raining over there so i'm not overly optimistic there's a very slight pink coming across there. So there may, may not be some color, I don't know. Um, so what I'm doing at the moment is making the most of that by trying to get a long exposure of this, this lovely scene here. Um, there's so much water splashing around these rocks and it really does help to light up the water. So what I've done, I'm using a 
super wide angle lens it's about 16 mil i'm really focusing down on these these rocks down here so i think it starts about there we've got that tripod leg is just in the frame so it just seems to catch that bit and then um the lead in line goes across these so these are pointing up into the image and then you've got a little bit of flow down that crevice down there and into the the rocks down there so we've got the mid ground of these lovely rocks and the background is just this cloud and the the hills on the side but the the moving water um really does look a lovely color so i've put a three stop neutral density filter over it so i can get a one minute exposure so it really blurs the water and this where it's all splashing around those rocks the color is amazing so at the moment we don't really need a lot of color on this one it looks quite dramatic so the blue might work i don't know so the majority of the photograph probably 75 80 percent is these rocks so um i've come right down um and making the most of the interest of these rocks here and these are the biggest proportion of the photograph so i've really crammed them in um and that will give a sense of scale to the photograph and there's a lot of lovely detail with the lichens and things like that so this will help to make the photograph a lot more interesting um, the further away from the the lens you get the background shrinks but these foreground rocks here are really exaggerated by the distortion of the lens so i'm just going to show you now what i mean by the distortion of the lens so i'm going to lift the camera up to horizontal and then i'm just going to start pointing it down so the bottom of the frame um, will come closer and closer to these rocks here so if you look at these rocks down here they'll start stretching as they get to the bottom of the frame um, so the further on down that i tilt the the longer they'll get and they'll get bigger and bigger so that distortion can really add to some interest um, to these rocks to really bring them into the foreground so you can see the detail on them and it gives a sense of scale between the foreground and the mid-ground we might not get any sun coming through but i'm going to stay here anyway just in case but also i do want to go over there and take the photograph of polpero so what i'm going to do is climb up that cliff up there um, don't worry there's there is a path uh, and where that big spiky one is there's just a bit of a, a standing area there so i'm going to go over there and take a photograph of polpero from there the light has just come out now and it's lighting up this foreground and the background more so the foreground than the background strangely enough but um, we are getting some light over there now so i think there must have been clouds over there so i've taken a few exposures and a lot of the the tide has gone out since i took the last photos so you can see a lot more rocks in the foreground so i think this one works really well now so i'm happy with that one i've finally got it the uh, patience paid off so the light is looking really good it's not quite as as strong as it should have been about an hour ago but uh, i'm happy with that photo so i'm gonna just take another few shots now just to make sure i've got everything right so i've focused on the foreground and the background everything's exposed correctly and then i'm gonna head back over there and try and get back up there before the light disappears I've managed to come back up the hill again and get a photograph before the sun disappeared. So that was really good. And we got some lovely light hitting across here. So uh, it really was patience that paid off. So uh, I think I've got a great photograph there. I've just done a panorama of the, the harbour there. So that was lovely. And I think now really is time to go and get some breakfast. I was just start, stood up on the that cliff back up there and this, met, this bloke came up and stood about a metre away from me just staring straight at me so it's quite unnerving so uh, I didn't get to finish my vlog so I've got some great photos now um, I managed to capture Polpero with a lovely light on it and I've got a great photograph looking down there so 
I've had a really good time. I think I've got some great photos. Um, and it really is time to get some breakfast now because I'll be stopping soon. Everywhere I've been, <laughs> it keeps following me everywhere. I'm getting a bit concerned now, so uh, I'm going to head off and uh, <laughs> so, uh, right now I'm going back for breakfast. <laughs>